Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about how you can use the markup feature and mail drop feature in the new Apple Mail app using Yosemite. So I've already gone ahead and opened up a new message box. That's all I've done so far. And I only did that just for privacy reasons. So once you have your message box, box open you can start putting the to the subject all that we're just going to skip right down here well actually I'll just go ahead and, and mail it to myself okay and we'll put here just put pick and in here we're going to actually import a photo and you're, I'm going to jump all the way down here to my iPhoto and we'll just choose anything here. Um, just doesn't have to be anything in particular. And when you get here, then you're going to see this little arrow up here at the top right of the photo that you imported. Tap, click the little drop down and go to markup. And it's going to give you some tools now. And now you can use any of these tools here you see. You can add text. And right here it is. If we wanted to write hello YouTube. And it will also allow you to add shapes. Such as this star you see here. And here again if you want to change the color, the outline. Say we want it to be blue. And then make the fill on the inside yellow. That makes it look a lot better. <clears throat> and here you can also here's where you can change your uh, text color right here so if we wanted that to be yellow it would be yellow now so let's go in here and you also got this little pen tool you can draw with if you want to use it but we're going to use the text tool here and actually do a little bit of writing you can change the font it's just really endless to what all you can do and now you see here our text is yalla yaller as I call it here in the hills and you can even move it around if you want to drag it up here you want to make your box larger I mean you can just do anything you want to do and even if you want to put your signature on here I've already gone ahead and made a signature and you can see right there if you want to change its color all you would have to do is just go here to the outline location. There's just a lot of awesome tools you can use here, guys. And this is the markup side of it. Very, very awesome way to do it. Now, if you're going to use the mail drop, this is where if you have something, say it's larger, a larger file than normal, like maybe a video or something, uh, you would actually go in here and we could actually include it right in this here as well so we can go in here and find something that's pretty big we can use this one right here handoff we'll choose that and it's going to take it just a second to import it in and you can see it's imported it now what it's going to do it's going to actually it's going to use some of the storage space in my iCloud account to send this and all it's going to do is send the other user a link which is myself I'm sending it to myself so I'm going to go ahead and hit send and then we're going to open it up and I'll show you what you get on the other side okay now I've gone ahead and hooked up my iPhone 6 to show you what it looks like on the other side I thought this would be better than looking at it on the computer and if you haven't seen my video on how to record your iPhone 6 display uh, I'll leave the link in the description and annotate the video here be sure and check that out so let's open up our mail app and you see right here when we open it up I've already opened up the correct mail that we want to see and you see up there to, above the image it says download full, resolu full resolution images and they'll be available until November 17th so it keeps them for a few days in there, you know, 30 days, and then it removes it. So it updates photos every 30 days. So 
keep that in mind you won't have it after 30 days and right here if we wanted to actually watch this video on this side with it we would have to actually click to download it and you see it's actually going into the uh, iCloud account here like I said earlier it uses your iCloud account storage to do this and I laid the phone down as reason it went crazy there for a second but then here if we wanted to sit and wait for this to download uh, it would download and we could go ahead and watch it but guys it's an awesome way to, to mark up your mail and to it send emails that's larger than the normal size now if you go over an email size that's greater than five gigabytes then you're going to have issues because that's the, that's the amount of free storage that you have from iCloud so keep that in mind uh, you would actually have to probably update using some type of third-party app or something like that or or buy more storage through iCloud if you had to issue that like that but let me know what you think in the comments did you enjoy this video do you want more of these Yosemite tutorials let me know what you think share this video it really helps me out and keep coming back